three, two, one, and good morning, and welcome back to our new beginnings Let's Play. I think I'm putting lots of torches down. How are you doing? I hope you're keeping well and keep you safe. Um, quick shout out, just thank you to all those people who subscribed, who've left comments and likes. Thank you so very much. You're amazing. Thank you. Right. To work. No, I didn't put any. I'm still playing around with this. I've got some ideas, but that's not what we're doing today. This wall is going to be chess, but I can't put them. I don't want them doubled up. I want individual chess, so we're going to have to work on that. And we need to get all this sorted out so it's an awful lot easier. So I don't have to keep playing with those. So today, we're going to make an electric furnace. Right. Now, there's the electric furnace. Uh, these are the things we actually need. We first need the machine frame, which is redstone, a steel ingot that we made last week or the week before. No, not last week. We made two days ago, so it's there. But if in doubt, if you just click on it and we keep going and here we are, bismuth steel dust. Where is it? Da, da, da. Right. Nope. That's very strange. Hang on. I want to find that because steel. So if we look at steel ingot or an aluminium, here, or bismuth steel. Blasting alloy smelting. That's the one we want to look at. We want it for alloy smelting. It's two iron, four coal dust one bismuth steel and we get that from the crusher that's the coal dust okay so first let's make our alloy machine frame next we need the heaters which are quite good and I'll show you why I believe I think we can do and we need a circuit board which is redstone iron so we can come over here and if we go into furnace, fern, there we are. So that's what we've just made. It's iron, redstone, and smoothstone. And now we've got ourselves a furnace, an electric furnace. Now, this is where we have to get a bit canny about how we build these. Because, yes, we need it to get power from over there. This has got to move, so we'll do that. The alloy smelter is very useful. Oh, let's put a pipe in. However, the, alloy, the things from the alloy cell to smelter, can hardly talk today, just needs to go to a chest. Doesn't need to go anywhere else. However, the things from the crusher generally need to go somewhere else now this is where it gets a bit tricky because it makes more sense these pipes there are ones we can put filters on so it only pulls certain things from certain places but that's getting into gold and diamond which i just don't want to do so what i do want to do is i want to make a very almost like low tech version of this if that makes sense now the crusher ideally is going to go from from the crusher into the furnace so if we were to take the crusher out of the equation thank you you're going to let me have that back probably not and i've got some wire somewhere um a little black dot hang on is it in my backpack there it is and if we just look at wire that's really easy it's the little dot there it took me a while to find it it is either copper and redstone alloy or refined iron and redstone alloy i just found that we got lots of copper so that one seemed to make an awful lot more sense to be honest and actually, I want to try something with the heating element. Right, hang on. Is it going to work there? 
No. Okay. I was hoping we might be able to put the heating element onto the side of a heater and it works, but no, it doesn't. So we have all of that we've got to take and move. So first things first, let's get rid of that chest. Uh, we want that. We don't want those chests. We don't want the heating element or those. And that lot. If I was to remove that, there. What I could do is put all of the ores up there for the time being. There. That means... We can just pick all that lot up and throw them, hopefully, in there. Right. Lovely. So from a wire point of view, right, so we've got the heating element over there and we're going to have to have a, a system that will drop charcoal into that or we make a battery or something for the future. But what I want to do first is we need the crusher. Hang on, get rid of the wire. We want the crusher in place first. That's getting its power, so that's working. And the crusher needs to take things whoop, from here and put it Now I'm going to have to move that now, aren't I? That was silly. Let's just move these. Oh, bless her. That's Heidi outside. Do you know the nerve of some people to actually try and walk past our house? Oh, bless her. Tell you what, though, I'm not complaining because we would never get burgled. That's for. Hang on. Let's just use one of these. We'd never get burgled because they wouldn't be able to get two feet without her telling us. Right. So if we were to, we need to take from there, right, I don't want one there, because these pipes are very pedantic. After all of that, I want the chest back. There, right. So we need something, so for instance, we could have a chest here that we put stuff into. Who knows, we might be able to annex it or annex it, access it from there. Put that there now. So the question I want to know is if I had, that's it. I think the thing I have learnt Okay, good. Is test it as you go. And that gives me a gravel, fine. So it will take it from the top and the top will open, which is superb. All right. So that means anything from there will be crushed and put aside. Now, we need to remove that. But we need to take from the crusher and put to the furnace. Now, the question I have to ask is, if we put the furnace there, power is coming through, and we were to take from there to there, and put one of the white caps on, I don't believe I've got anything Hang on. Oh, that was Heidi, bless her. Right, so the first thing is, let's put that in there. That's going up and on its route. It's going through the crusher. I don't think gravel will work. Um, let's have a quick look. I'll be back in a second. Oh, hang on. I've got my backpack. Um, I might need the pistons. 
Okay, I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to check the other bags and boxes. I won't be a minute. Hold on. And hello again. Here we are. Oh, that looks a bit dark as well, doesn't it? Um, here we are. I ran down. Okay, so we're going to shut the lid. That's good. Down to the mine. I thought, you know what, let's give this a proper go. And I found some prosperity shards as well. Not a lot else. Let's see. Now that's not... Right. So it's not pulling it from underneath. So what we've got to do... Okay. Yet it does that one. That one does come out. All right. So... Right, let's have a look. I need to go here. Right, so if I was to put, um, where are we? Uh, the crusher first, up against there, right? And then we had the furnace next. My question is will it take it from there? Right, so we want one there. I need to put that in close. Right. So will the crusher... Right. So it will take it from the top. There it goes. Oh, for goodness sake, it's out of power now. <laughs> this is what it means when you've got all these bits you have to test. So let's take that out of there. there. Okay. It has power. It's working. There it is. Okay, so it takes it from the back. Right. So the crusher will put it into there, but only if it can actually go there. So we've got it from there to there to there. That means we really have to have the power pipes. So the question is... To pull it... Out. Oh, okay. No, no. Let's have a look. How can we do this? Because I've got... We need to pull the things out from here. Um... But without going there. Actually. Right. If we were to put the power there. Right. That means we could have one there. It won't go into the alloy smelter. We can have one there. Which is going to have to go, here we are, into, hmm, because that's either got above, oh, actually, no, you see, we can't do it above, that's the problem, because these are silent, no, uh, what are they called, whoop, these are called, refined pipes so if we go at refined pipes there's no wrench or anything extract 64 items every half a second no nope. so we don't have an extractor so it's going to have to come out in and just not look very pretty i'm assuming um, oh, hang on. If, let's remodel this, shall we? Right. 
because I'm just taking it that the coal generator is there. But the coal generator doesn't have to be there. It could be there and still power the furnace. Now, if that's the case, we haven't got any of these wires here. We need, we don't need that wire or that one because we could presumably, let's take this one out as well. Um, trying to think how I could do that. Um, oh, here we are. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's put that there. It's this whole thing is quite a juggling act. You've got to sort of fit everything in. You could make it huge, but I think the main point is trying to get it so it fits without seeing lots of horrible wires. And although what the wires aren't horrible per se. Do we want to look at the wires? I think not. There. Okay. So that is, that is. Now the real question is, could I have a pipe from there into a chest we got power there so if we had a chest there now we do need to make one more of those pulley things because that comes out of there and to make one of those we need a piston oh uh, which is iron one two three four five so that is um, one piston surrounded by five that's it that's how we make it and can I get and this this is what I meant about being very finicky that won't just go on there let's try from there nope get rid of the torches so the question is if it's there will it fit on that okay so I take it oh that's a bit weird that it won't fit underneath So we could have that together with that and if we just move this over right so with any luck oh look at that it's it's already starting to move things all right let's try the whole process shall we we're gonna put okay one lump of iron in that's going over All right. Is that going up? And it's going through into the electric furnace. Now, when this stops, I want to make sure that the energy level goes from 44,000 upwards. And let's put it in there, fine. So my question, ah, oh, that's why. Ah, oh, sneaky. There isn't one there. There. So if we were now to go to here, that's full. And that's working. And we could put plates over that. But it will come from there. But the only thing that will go into the charcoal, uh, into the furnace, is charcoal or coal. And as I'm not putting charcoal or coal in there, 
that will work well. Okay, so that's good. We've now got the uh, general bit set up, which is excellent because what I need to do, as much as I hate to say it, I'm go to sleep, is I need to go and do a massive amount of mining because I want iron chests up here. And the reason iron chests, if I show you on this one, um, chest. Right, an iron chest. No, let's look at it this way. A wood to iron chest. We're going to be doing something like this anyway. Right. And we've got a piece of wood? Yes, we have. So if we were to pick, say, this chest, and we were to upgrade it, nope, where is it? There you go. It's now three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by six, which is a double chest. Now, I will show you, we could upgrade that double chest. Where is it? From... Uh, where is it? Oh. Iron to gold. Now this is where they start getting a bit more expensive. Six, seven, eight. Oh, excuse me. So sorry. That was, um, oh, that was a cough. Right. And we can upgrade this one and it will be used that's no problem because i think gold look at that so that's one and a that's one and a half double chests and then after gold uh we can go so iron to gold gold to diamond and that's two double chests I believe so it's quite enormous the amount of storage we can get there and also something that is very very good um, um, what was it called they are called um, label no label no let's see um, when I see it I'll remember it there is, um, hang on, do, 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 do. Right, I've got my wood on me, yeah, oh, I'll be back in a second, let me just remember what this is, because the word escapes me for the minute, hold on one second, I won't be a tick, here we go, God, there's sometimes the words that you forget. Item frame. But that's a glass one, which is transparent. So that means we can have a transparent item frame there with just the item sticking on it, which would be great. So we could have, I don't know, cobblestone sticking there. So it'd be sort of like having a bit of cobblestone just there, but I can't put cobblestone or glass. At least now I can get all of those smelted and done and put up in there. Quicker than normal. Although, oh, you see now there's, see that's the crusher. And that's the furnace. Now here's a thing for you. Hmm. What if I want to cook, just cook something? I suppose it means I can just put it in the furnace, can't I, like that. Yeah, I suppose that's not too much of a chore. It's not like it's the end of the world, is it really? And for now, there we go. Because that works really quickly. And I'm going to have to put some more coal in there. Because we don't want that running out. Marvellous. So we've got everything there set up. Now, let me just tidy up these bits. Because the whole point is that works. Now, what I can do 
is I could put the oh I could actually just put where's the alloy smelter there and if I made one more of those things um, pop that there I need some iron five that would mean that we've actually got the entire thing set up certainly for quite a time because that's just cooking things sorting it um, one piece of iron and one two three four and again this is just to test that that actually works because it's not going to go in the furnace because it's alloy that should just pull out come on beautiful work for me yes so we have got a fully functioning little setup here that also means that this I can put there so it's out of the way right ah now last thing on tonight's agenda is if I went hammer and what I want to know is uh, there it is I want and I need to I need a stick because what I want to do is I want to try and find out what is a good material for a hammer so now we've got that and I'm wondering so we can do gold Invar, iron, netherrack. So if I, oh, see, this is the thing. Oh, I suppose what I could do is if I made a hammerhead out of tin, uranium, don't know what that is, don't know what that is, vertical glass. Okay. Right, so what I want to know is, I can make it out of Invar. So I'm going to need to make some Invar for something or other. Alloy smelting. Two iron, one nickel. Um, nickel, which is uh, silver bismuth. There's, there was nickel, I saw it, just saw it, nickel. Two iron, but this is what I mean. I'm using a lot of the iron up. Two iron or nickel, right? So that's going to get us some invar. We could also make it out of gold, tin, maybe copper. Um. And the electric furnace, will it cook iron again? Yes, it will. Brilliant. So it's three in var. Let's. And. Furnaces, gravel. As you can see, I have got a lot of tidying up to do. Tin, aluminium, in var. Oh, okay. How many is there? I must have got that measure up right. That one wrong. Oh. Right, so what? Nickel ore? Invar. Oh, wrong way round. Oh, you silly. Oh, 
Okay, so I've got one, three nickel. Four. That would be... I suppose, really, I only need two of those, don't I? Two. Right. Refined iron. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because ideally, what I want to know is, what is it going to be a good material to make a hammer out of? That I've actually got materials for now. Alright. So. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, if I put the pattern in. We have. Uh, let's have a look at that, shall we? Control. Uh, speed to. Durability, 64. I was fairly certain that gold wouldn't be that good. Iron. Uh, speed 2, durability 500. Okay. Nope. And control. Obviously speed 2. Now, aluminium, 960. Okay, so that's a contender because they're all the same speed and refined iron thousand and twenty four and harvest speed of two still so refined iron is by far the best so far twelve eighty mining speed two malleable and adamant Okay, and it's not a hard material to replace, is it, Invar? And we will have ancient trees soon. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do this. No, I am. Because... Um, actually, hang on. Before I do that, let's have a look at the upgrades. Because, let us see now, advanced upgrades, do we need upgrade, so what do I need advanced upgrades for, that one, right, so what does that do, that adds durability, harvest level up by two, and speed, gold, Durability a little bit. Harvest speed plus six. So gold is very quick. Okay. Diamond. Brittle, lustrous, stats, control. Durability, harvest level. Presume that's up by three. Three levels. Okay. So I'm thinking is if we had... Some of these blanks, which is stone and paper. Right, well, we've got some stuff over here. I've got all the materials over here. Because if I make something with upgrades on it, but it is still primarily made of stone, that means I can upgrade it with stone. Oh, oh, I had a little stutter there, no, it's fine. Okay, let's run, 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 come on. Oh, we've overrun again, I am so sorry. I like to try and keep these to about 30 minutes, but... Um, so we have got... I've got these, let's use them, shall we? Right. Uh, paper, stone, wood... Right, the upgrade is stone. I wonder if I can use that. No. So it is just stone, diorite, 
Come along. Hang on. So that's the furnace. Pop that in there. And it's come on, come on. I want that. Right. So we need that. That makes four patterns. So I could have iron, gold, and diamond. Iron. Gold. Diamond. Okay, I wonder. I really have no idea what this is going to do to my to my hammer. So if we go one iron, one gold, and oh it there it is. And diamond. So if I was to put my hammer in here, my question is, can I do it to all? Right, so what have we got here? Harvest level 1, 1 1.8, right. Harvest level 1, 1 1.8, harvest level 2. Speed 2, so it's gone up just a tiny bit. Uh, the durability has gone up, it's doubled. So that's a good bet. Now, the question I want to know, can we put gold? We can put gold on it. But, hang on. That, that looks like it's got a tip upgrade. For iron... But the harvest level, no. So, but if I was to replace it with the diamond, the batter, so it does brittle, ancient, lucky, lustrous, uh, the speed of two, not a lot quicker, but the harvest level has gone up to obsidian but it's still this. I'm a bit confused. So it's obsidian. I'm going to take it anyway and find out what we've got to do because I'm going to be playing with that. As I've mentioned, I've got some upgrades I need to do. Okay, so I think for today, thank you. That will probably do us. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I haven't done the back of the head in ages, have I? Hey, there we go. So I just want to say thank you all very much indeed. Um, if you, um, well, I just went a bit blurry then. That was strange. I want to thank all those people who subscribed, who've left comments and who've liked. Thank you all so very, very much. However, if you've just watched, thank you very much indeed. Uh, any views or anything is much appreciated. So all that leaves me, GP, to say ta-da for now. Take care, be safe, and have fun. Until tomorrow. Take care. Whoop, 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 whoop. I can't walk backwards. I'll see you all later. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye.